Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm out on my back porch again, so if you hear birds chirping or children screaming, then that is because of where I am. Uh, I decided to make a tutorial on how to solve a 4x4 blindfolded using the U2, R2, and OP method. Now, before we get started, I'm going to require that you know the M2 OP method for 3x3 blindfolded. If you don't know that already, then um, Noah Arthur has actually just recently made a very good tutorial on it. So I'm going to go ahead and link that to you in the description. But yes, I require that you know if you, that you know that method well, and that you have a good grasp of a lettering system for edges in particular, because that will be important. Now, how is this method going to work? So I'm going to relate to the three by three a lot. So. For the 3x3 blindfolded M2OP method, you have two types of pieces. You have edges and corners. And for each piece, you have a method to solve them. So for the edges, you have M2. And for the corners, you have Old Pachman, or a variation of Y-perm. For the 4x4 blindfolded, there are three types of pieces you need to be concerned with. There are the corners, which you would use Y perms for, or J perms, depending on how you do an OP. There are the wings, which are these edge type pieces, we call them wings, and they are solved using the R2 interchange, just much like how you'd use the M2 interchange for 3x3 blindfolded. Wings will be used, you will be using the R2. And it's really small R2, but I'm just going to be saying R2 from now on, because it's easier to say. And finally you have the centers, which are these middle pieces. And you're going to be using a U2 interchange. Much like how you'd use the R2 interchange for wings, and the M2 interchange for edges on the 3x3. Now, corners are not going to be very difficult to learn. Um, it's, it's just OP. I mean, if you know OP, then it's OP. Uh, there's a small tweak to it, but it's not that bad. Um, R2 is very, very, very similar to M2. Um, like I said, there are some small tweaks, but it's not that bad. The part that people usually struggle with when they're trying to learn a 4x4 blindfolded are the centers. And that's because they're completely new. Uh, but it's very similar in concept to R2 and M2 in that you're doing an interchange and setup moves in between to solve all the pieces. And once you learn it, it's really not that bad. And you can get very fast with it. Or you can get very comfortable with it, I should say. Um, so those, those, are the, those are different kinds of methods that are part of this. Um, how, and you, might ask, you might be asking how fast can you be with this method? Well, um, all the very fast, world-class blind solvers do not use this method. They use three cycles. I just think this method is a very good introduction to big blind. Um, because, because it's so similar to 3 by 3 blindfolded, um, that method that people use a lot. Um, I still use this method. Uh, you can, if you work at it a lot, I think it's very possible to be like sub-7. Um, of course, when you just start out, like, expect to be around 20 minutes or maybe maybe slower. But if you work at it, you can definitely get very comfortable with this. It's very automatic after a while. And you can definitely get sub-10. Um, I average around 7 or 8. Um, but, again, don't expect to be sub-4 or anything like that. This is just a very good introduction to Big Blind, and there's that's what I'm talking about with the screaming kits. Um... So, yeah, that was basically the introduction to this whole thing. Uh, I guess we'll get right into it, and I can teach you how to solve centers using the U2 method.